In this Hike and Go Seekers episode, we are going to see stunning camera footage of the three best waterfalls in Olympic National Park, Soul Duck Falls, Merrimer Falls, and Madison Falls. We are also going to check and see if the fish are jumping in the Salmon Cascades. You will also learn just how quick and easy it is to visit these four iconic waterfalls in under half a day. Beat the crowds, people. Beat the crowds. What time did you get up this morning? About 30. You see any salmon jumping, Tina? No, I don't. I think we're a little too early in the season. But they can jump 11 feet. I wanted to see that. I wish I had a fishing pole. You don't need a fishing license to fish these rivers. You just can't fish this one little area because it's a touristy area, but uh, you can walk up the river and fish. Still waking up a little bit. Coffee's still kicking in. I'm freezing. Got a sweatshirt on. Probably about 50 degrees. But there's a breeze coming off the river which makes it a little more chilly. Well, I was hoping to see a salmon today, but it doesn't look like we're gonna see any. Soul Dock Falls. I'm so glad we came out here early. You know, getting up at five o'clock is not my thing. Never has been. But enjoying this with the peace and serenity of Justina and I allows us to appreciate it even more. We've seen like three people on the trail. What do you think, Tina? Is it beautiful? It is. You can't even feel the mist. I could stay here all day. In about two hours, this bridge and that area over there will be filled with people. You wanna go kayaking down the river? Wow, I have waterfalls. Okay, so we just finished Soul Duck Falls and the Soul Duck area. It was a 1.6 mile out and back trail. You definitely would make it here early in the morning or else you're gonna end up waiting in a line at the fee station. We're getting there. Might catch a glimpse around this bend. You know? Wow, that's pretty tall. And it goes all the way down here. Log jam. Okay, Tina, what'd you think of Mary Mary Falls? They were beautiful. That they were. It's a more popular trail because they're beautiful and it's relatively easy to get there. Around what, 9, 9.30 when we started? Yeah, and we really did get like one of the last parking spots. Yes, we did. So I'm really kind of at the end of the parking lot. So yeah, get here early. Okay, this trail is less traveled. I think, don't think this part of the park gets as much traffic as the rest of the park. So there's a helpful tidbit. 
This trail is actually only 0.2 miles. Gorgeous. We're only being 0.2 miles off trail. That's pretty tall. That's beautiful. There's something about the serenity of a waterfall and the peacefulness of it. Even though it makes noise, it's so peaceful. Seeing the Olympic National Park waterfalls in person takes you on an epic journey across glacier-fed streams and rivers that run through an old-growth temperate rainforest. If you're planning a trip to Olympic National Park, we hope this guide helps you lay out your journey to see the iconic Olympic National Park waterfalls. Chances are, you're probably not going to hit that subscribe button, but if you are planning a trip to Olympic National Park, you just might decide to hit that notification bell because our next Hike and Go Seekers video is going to be another not-so-perfect Olympic National Park guide that will help you plan your upcoming 24-hour, 48-hour, or 72-hour Olympic National Park vacation. By the way, no, seriously, hurry up and click here to watch a bizarre hiking video in the whole rainforest, which is possibly the best hiking trail in Olympic National Park, or click here to find out which Olympic National Park beach is the best to search for marine life. We are thankful you are here following along with us on our journey, and we look forward to bringing you along with us on our next journey. Here's a glimpse of our homemade camper reveal episode coming soon. Until then, thank you for watching.